Hey Flosstube, it's Katie the Stash Queen coming to you with my Year of Starts 2.0 January preview. Yay! Uh, it is December 31st, 2016. 19, where the heck did I get that? Um, I hope everyone is having a wonderful New Year's Eve and a safe one. If you're already into the New Year when you watch this, Happy New Year. Goodbye 2016. Glad to see you go. So, um, I am... Sorry, I just deleted one of my titles. <laughs> so I had to fix that real quick. Um, so I'm going to, like I have all of 2016, going to come back every month and show you guys what I have planned for the year of starts for 2.0 for, because that's what I want to call it, because we've already done the year of starts. So this is version 2.0. Um, show you what I've got planned for each month and let's go ahead and get started. I'm already starting on January 1st with more than one start. There's three. And I'm going to, they're all electronic or no pictures available. Um, the first one uh, is going to be Wherefore Art Thou by Nora Corbett. This was the mystery stitch along that was released um, by Nora Corbett and Casa Sanina in Italy. Uh, it comes as a hard copy pattern, but they don't have one good cohesive picture of what the pattern looks like all together. So I'll insert a picture of it here. And I am doing this on 32 Joblin in Vamp Vampiric from Under the Sea Fabrics. I just like the dramatic red purple color. And my minder is a Romeo and Juliet needle minder from Brenda's Minders and More. My second start on the first Gotta pull these away. Is going to be the Birthstone Dragon Stitch Along from Ingleside Imaginarium, and I will insert a picture of what the preview looks like here. I'm really excited about this. Dragons aren't normally my thing, but I really do like the way this one is looking and I think it's great to do it all the birthstones. I am doing this um, on a, a this is 32 yeah 32 Joblin in Vineyard from Under the Sea Fabrics. Again another pretty purpley pink one. I just think it reminds me of fantasy, a dragon sky perhaps. I am going to do the dragons as they are charted, as far as colors go, um, but I am going to use a metallic, I think, for the border uh, around it, just to give it a little bit of bling and sparkle. And my needle minder is this great dragon needle minder that was racked to me. Um, I believe it was Heather Stitch's uh, rack program in 2016, so whoever gave me this needle minder, thank you. It's perfect. And then my third start of 2017 on the first, my third start on the first, um, is one that I'm going to be working on every day. Uh, if you're in Stitch Mania, you probably saw me share the link to this a while ago. It is the One Stitch a Day Challenge that is being hosted by uh, Brown Paper Bag. It's a blog. I will put a link to the Facebook group below if you're interested. The idea of this was that for every day in a year, so starting January 1st, uh, you do some sort of stitching and it is primarily focused towards embroidery. Now I do know some of the embroidery stitches because they're also specialty stitches and cross stitch, but I am going to take a little bit of a different take on this one stitch a day. And what I'm gonna do is I'm starting off with this lovely 32 count piece of white Joblin and my minder is I cross stitch so I don't kill people from Nifty Needle Nannies and that's really true. Um, every day that I stitch, you all know me by now, you know I stitch on multiple pieces a day, most days. Sometimes I use more than one thread color in a piece on each day. Um, what I'm going to do is I am going to put an X in every color for every piece that I work on in a day. So let me see if I can clarify this. So on the first, I am doing Wherefore Art Thou. Whatever colors I use for Wherefore Art Thou will get an X in here. 
that I'm doing the birthstone dragon stitch along. Any color I use for that day will end up in here. Um, any other of my whips or my sows or anything else you're going to see for the insanity that is 2017 that comes next, uh, that I'm going to do that video tomorrow, an X will be put in here. So even if I use the same color, say, I'm just going to randomly say, say I use 310 in three pieces, I'm still going to use three X's of 310 um, in this piece. I will, or any color for that matter, um, but I'm going to put them, I'm going to have a journal that sits next to my stitchy spot, and I'm going to document what day, what piece, and what color in what order I worked on. Confusing enough. Um, so it'll go in the same color order, and then I, by the end of 2017, I will see how big this is. <laughs> and then decide how I'm going to finish it. If I'm going to finish it as a pillow, if I'm going to finish it as a frame. A lot of the pick people in the group are doing it as in an embroidery hoop. Um, since I'm not sure how big this is going to be, I'm not going to just keep it in a hoop most likely because it's going to be rows and squares and stuff. But I'm excited. So this is going to be something I start on the first, but I will work on it every single day in 2017. And you will see it every week during my weekly updates until the end of 2017. And I will put a link to the Facebook group below in case you are interested in taking on this challenge. It's been a really nice group so far. Um, then on the second is another electronic pattern. It is going to be the Under the Sea Lakeside Needlecraft Stitch Along in conjunction with Lakeside Needlecraft and Doreen Jones. And I am going to do this on the called for 32 count even weave in Under the Sea from Fabric Flare. It's a really cool, the modeling is really pretty. How it cascades down looks really great. I am excited about this stitch long. I am going to switch out the colors. I just haven't pulled them yet. I will before I start it. Um, and my minder is this starfish needle minder from Brenda's Minders and More. Uh, I will say, yes, I am a admin in that group. I am the only one of the admins who does not know what the pieces are going to be each month because um, Kate clearly knows and Sarah and Nicola are doing the two um, model stitches for it, so they know. So I have no idea. Whatever I post is my guesses are really just that. They're my guesses. So, But I'm excited for that stitch along to start as well. Then on the third, I will be working on Be Merry by Mill Hill. You all have seen it through my stash acquisitions in 2016 that I have a lot of Mill Hill kits. So they're going to be um, Santas and Mill Hills. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of them this year. But that's good because some days you need a, a smaller stitch to work on. Then speaking of the year of Santas, on the 4th, I am going to start the Captain Santa by Mill Hill. This is from the Seafaring Santa's collection. And my minder is a Captain Hook needle minder from Brenda's Minders and More. Because hello, Captain Hook. I am trying this year to use for the bigger ones, not the ones that I just showed you, but all of the Santas and any other bigger um perforated paper projects, I'm going to try to use light minders on them because it's just easier. Then on the 5th, I'm going to start one of my uh, big series that I'm going to work on all year. It's going to be the Country Cottage Needleworks Gingerbread Village. And in, on the 5th, I am going to start the Gingerbread House number one. I've decided that I will be doing this in the order that it's shown on the full layout by Country Cottage Needleworks. This may not have been the order that the patterns were released. I don't remember, but I'm going to start with this one. And the entire series is going to be done on 32 Joblin and Toasted Almond <laughs> from Hand-Eyed Fabrics by Stephanie. Just thought that I was done saying that with <laughs> the uh, Prairie Schooler alphabet, but no. And my minder is this cute little tree button needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. See? Got all of them in there. Then that moves us to the sixth. 
when I will be starting the Christmas Island Santa from the Tropical Santas Collection by Mill Hill. And my minder is a little M&M &M Meadle minder from Gina's, minder, Gina's Unique Boutique, excuse me. Year of Santas. And before you ask how I determined which Santas I'm going to work on what day, I just picked them out of the bag in whichever box and whichever one came is what I did. There is no rhyme or reason. Then on the 7th, from the Just Cross Stitch 2013 ornament issue, I am going to be working on Ethereal Illumination number 2, which is this one by Summerhouse Stitchworks. And I am just doing this on a 28 count white even weave. And my minder is a little blingy needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. Then on the 8th, I will start the Genoa Santa from the Renaissance Santa set by Mill Hill. My mind is another little blingy, this one's black from, Gina, or from Nifty Needle Nannies. Sorry, I haven't had enough coffee yet. I stayed up way too late last night, haven't had my coffee yet. I'm staying up way too late tonight. Thank goodness there's a couple more days to recover. Then on the 9th, I will start The Harp by Mill Hill. I've seen a couple people who have finished this. I think it's really cool. Then on the 10th, I will start my next annual stitch along for 2017. And that is going to be the Fabulous Women in History stitch along by Clouds Factory. And I'll insert a picture of the preview here. And I am doing this on 32 Belfast in Lichen's Moon from Under the Sea Fabrics. Again, I'm going for the pink and purple colorations. And I do plan on switching out the colors again, just haven't picked them out yet. And my minder is from No Name Needle Minders. It's a quote from Marilyn Monroe that says, Well-behaved women rarely make history. And I think that is perfect for this stitch along. which I'm very excited about. Then on the 11th from the 2015 Just Cross Stitch Ornament issue, I am going to work on Hope, which is this one right up here from Lone Elm Lane. It's a little nativity scene. And I am doing this one on uh, 32 Belfast in Irene from Under the Sea Fabrics. You've seen this fabric a couple of different times in different pieces. And my minder is this really pretty cross needle minder from Brenda's Minders and More. Then on the 12th, another one of the series I'm going to be working on all year. It is the Santa's 12 Days of Christmas. I will start Santa number one, which is this guy right up here. And I'm almost positive I'm doing it all in one piece of fabric, unless I've cut this fabric down into 12 pieces, but I think I'm just gonna do it in one piece. I am doing it on a 32 Joblin and Chocolate Milk from Hand Eyed Fabrics by Stephanie, because I should be able to fit all of them into this fat half without a problem. And my minder is my little Elf on the Shelf needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. We'll see what my mood says when I pick this up on the 12th. Then on the 13th. I will be starting Joseph from the Mill Hill Nativity series. I don't have all of the nativity pieces yet for this, but I do want to get them all. Are we shocked? And then my minder is a little blingy orange needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. Then on the 14th, I will start on Lemonade by Mill Hill. It's a cute little summery pattern. 
most all of these tiny mill hill kits I will finish in ornaments um, just because even if they are summer themed or autumn themed I like the idea of ornaments um, they may not all go on my Christmas tree like the some of the ones that I've done in the past like some of the egg ones and stuff but I could use them for ornamental decorations on those appropriate holidays so then on the 15th is the another annual stitch along there are a lot of annual stitch alongs I'm doing next year um it is the happily ever after stitch along from frosted pumpkin stitchery and I will insert a picture of what they've released as the preview here And I am doing this on 32 Lugana. I don't know if this is Care to Win or Ser to Win. I've heard it pronounced both ways. By Hand Eyed Fabrics by Stephanie. I think this goes well with the different colors that I have used for Once Upon a Time and uh, the Storytime Sampler. It's not exactly the same, but it's that same kind of subtle modeled. I guess really Once Upon a Time wasn't that subtle, but that's okay. And my minder is the official uh, Happily Ever After Needle Minder from Frosted Pumpkin because duh. So many stitch alongs. I'm starting four, I'm rolling over one, five. Then on the 16th from the Just Cross Stitch 2016 ornament issue, I will be starting Mistletoe, which is number nine right down here. It's by Giulia Punti Antici, Italian, obviously. And I am just doing this on uh, 20, 32 count white Jobelin. And my mind is a little, he's losing some of his bling, but that's okay. Penguin Needle Mind from Gina's Unique Boutique. Then on the 17th, I will be starting Nordic Santa number one, which is this guy right up here from the Cross Stitch Card Shop, November, December, 2012. I don't plan on making them into cards. I'm thinking of making them into little pillow ornaments. And I am doing that one on 32 count white Jobelin. And my minder's a little candy needle minder that Kate from Lakeside Needlecraft sent me. You know, there are a lot of Kates and Katies in the uh, Floss Tube community. <laughs> Then on, that brings us to the 18th. Sorry, I need to scoot things over a little bit so I can see. Oh, I need to scoot this over. Hold on. Okay, there you go. Uh, on the 18th from the 2001 Just Cross Stitch Ornament Issue, I will be working on the first day of Christmas by Teresa Wensler Designs, TW Design Works. Teresa Wensler Ornament. It's so pretty. And I am doing that on 32 Lugana in Fresco from Picture This Plus. Ah. Kind of a stone, almost. And my minder's a little pretty emerald blingy jewel needle minder from Brenda's Minders and more. Then on the 19th, uh, we're starting another one of the large series I'll be working on all year, which is going to be Santa's Village by Country Cottage Needleworks. And I will start with the, and I'm going to keep it in the same order that you can find it online as well. So the first one I'm going to start is Santa's House. So cute. Let's see, all of them in one bag. And I am doing all of them on, uh, 32 Lugana in Legacy from Picture This Plus. It's pretty neutral. And my minder is a little reindeer needle minder from uh, Brenda's Minders and more. Then on the 20th, put this back in here real quick, sorry.
on the 20th I will be starting from this trio from Wilmar Designs these are some of the old Sandra Cozzolino Santas it is the Americana series and I am going to actually be starting on the Prairie Santa which is this guy right here the other two will be done at a later time and it's just being done on perforated paper because it came with all the different perforated paper which has some interesting little not pushed all the way holes through it yet now that I'm looking at it but it is, uh, my minder is Deck the Halls with Boughs of Holly from No Name Needle Minders. Yeah, we'll push some of those through. It'll be fine. This is an older kit. I'm not even sure how old this is, but it's pretty old. Then on the 21st, I will start on Sail Away by Mill Hill. I told you there's a lot of mail hook kits. In fact, if I can get this one in here. Come on. And yes, if you're wondering while I am sitting here putting things away, this is my new Doctor Who sweater pullover that I got for Christmas from my sister-in-law. Daleks, Weeping Angels, Snowflakes. Down here is Doctor Who, more Cybermen. I've been wearing it a lot around the house. And then uh, on the 22nd, I will be working on Santa's stockings by Mill Hill, which I think is going to be really cute. Then on the 23rd, if you haven't seen the theme, there's a lot of Christmas this year. On the 23rd, from Joan Elliott's Christmas Cross Stitch Treasures book, I am going to start eventually all of these, but the first one I'm going to start is the Snowman Roly Poly. And yeah, all of these will eventually get started, but first one's going to be the Snowman. And I am doing all of these on 14 count perforated plastic, not just one piece, but I think I, you can do two on one or something like that. And my minder is a little penguin needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. Then on the, brings us to the 24th, from another of the trio from Wilmar Designs. This is the uh, Victorian Santa's collection. And I am going to be starting on St. Nicholas, which is this guy right up here. Again, the other two will be done at a later time. And it's going to be done on perforated paper. And my minder is Dear Santa Define Good from No Name Needle Minders. These trios are all being kept together in one bag, just because it'll be easier that way. Um, then on the 25th, from the Just Cross Stitch 2012 ornament issue, I will be working on the Stitching for the Holidays Pin Keep, which is number eight right down here, uh, by Charlin Designs, Inc. Cute little queen. And it is being done on a piece of 28 Lugana in Valor from Stitchy Box. It's actually by Picture This Plus, but I got it from Stitchy Box. And my minder is a little crown needle minder from Brenda's Minders and More. Then on the 26th, we will be looking at the 2011 Christmas ornament issue from Just Cross Stitch. And I'm going to be working on Twinkle, which is this one right here, by the Courtney Collection. And I am doing that one on 32 Joblin in Twilight from Hand Eyed Fabrics by Stephanie. It's a really pretty dark purpley blue. More purple than blue, but really dark. I like it. And my minder is a little star needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. Then, on the 27th, we'll start another series 
but I'm doing all of these individually. So it won't be on one big piece, but I will start the January calendar girl from Little House Needleworks. And I am doing it on the call for 28 Cashel and Clay by Zweigert. And my minder is um, Sophia the First's mom from Mrs. Needle Minders. Then on the 28th, let me see if I can get this in here. The 28th, I will be working on Do Small Things with Great Love by Lizzie Kate. I'm also doing it on the called for fabric. I know, shocking, right? It is being done on uh, 28 Count Lambswool Linen from Wichelt. My minder's a little love needle minder from Brenda's Minders and more. Then on the 29th, I will be working on Cross Stitch Lover, which is from Just Cross Stitch February 2016. It's an Ursula Michael design. I am likely going to sub out the solids for something variegated in my stash. May this be DMC, haven't decided yet. But I am doing this on 32 Belfast in Dreamsicle from Under the Sea Fabrics because it's just happy and fun. And my minder is cross stitch when you want to stab something a thousand times. Also very accurate from Nifty Needle Nannies. <laughs> there have been many times when I have sat down and said, I just need a stitch. You need to leave me alone for a minute. And I feel better afterwards. Then on the 30th, let me get this in here. I will be working on Shamina from Just Cross Stitch April 2016. It's a black work piece from Elizabeth Almond, which I think is just beautiful. I love the colors on it. And I am going to just be doing this on a 28 count antique white Jobelin. And my minder is a yellow Disney princess. It's supposed to represent Belle from uh, Delicious Threads because it's so yellow in that pattern. But it's pretty. All right, let's look at the pattern. And then my last start for January of 2017 is going to be cookie, the Cookies Sampler from World of Cross Stitching issue number 223. I was going to start this in 2016, but it got bumped for some other new release. So I'm going to do it in 2017. And I am doing this on 32 Joblin in Autumn from Under the Sea Fabrics. And my minder is a little recipe card needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies because it seemed appropriate. So we are on our way. Year of Starts 2.0, here we come. I, I will be back. Another video today, actually. Um, I'm going to do another video here shortly of the uh, end of the year tag that Jessie Marie put together. And then tomorrow I will be back with my first update video for 2017. And my whip video will either go up tonight or tomorrow, depends on when I get it finished. The Doctor Who uh, piece one that I have for you guys, I will probably do tomorrow. I'm probably not going to get to it today because I have some stitching stuff I need to finish. And I'm going to my mom's house for New Year's Eve. So... Anyway, I hope everyone has a wonderful, safe, happy, joyous new year, and I will see you guys in 2017.